YouTube. It's 5.08 California time. Life is bleak for the real AIX. Shit's going down. I'm fighting cases in court. I need a job. Everything costs money. So let's go ahead and move forward. So, um, <laughs> I was going to do a video about Barack Obama and the New World Order. I was going to call it N.W. Obama. You know. New World Order, New World Obama. You know, I was going to do some shit like that. And complain about how people want to say Obama is like Hitler. Now, if anybody knows anything about the United States government, we have had a puppet in office since Carter. And actually, we have a puppet in office since Kennedy. After the Kennedy assassination, we haven't had a real president since then. We have been a corporate driven country. Now, it is in the corporation's best interest to make sure each person in America is well enough and alive enough in order to take care of the corporation. If we are truly assets to the United States of America, then we should be treated like their number one asset, more so than Saudi oil, more so than English gold, etc. So, let me get back to reality. I make a comment on police officers getting killed again. And I stand fast and I stay true to my words. We need the police to serve and protect us. If they don't serve and true <laughs> if they don't serve and protect us, it is our job to make them accountable to the people. Period. But since nobody's even thinking like that and everybody wants to just fuck with the cops and shoot people and shit, then I need to make this one statement for the last time. When the army guys are driving up and down the street, they're not going to give a fuck, because they won't be our army. Did I pause long enough for you to understand what I meant? When the shit goes down, you have better be ready. White, black, Mexican, Asian, Oriental, you all will have to be ready. Um, we not, we not. We're not all going to make it, but we all have a chance. Um, people are talking about this new world order thing. I have no problem in one government around the whole entire planet, as long as the people come first. The resources must be spread between the people equally. In other words, you shouldn't have to work in a sweatshop to live every day. Period. If there's going to be one world, one nation, one government around the whole entire planet, it is in that government's best interest to make sure all the people have a basic human right. A right to live without, um, what's the word I want to we need a basic human right to live without persecution from any government or government officials hampering the advancement of one's mind, one's spirituality, and one's self. In other words, I don't care if we have one president from any country around the planet as long as all the people are taken care of. So don't be scared of the new world order. Understand this, if there will be one ruler of the planet, one order, so to speak, it is in our best interest to guide this order. It's in our best interest to shape this new world in our image and not the image of those who keep us in chains, keep us in poverty, keep us in debt, keep us in harm's way. So, instead of me making a video about Obama and the New World Order, understand this. If you are going to be placed into a situation, wouldn't it be in your best interest to control the situation you're placed in? Or, are we just going to let shit happen? Hmm. And getting back to those police officers that were killed in 
Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's too bad. But I am glad a black man did not do this. Because every time that someone black does something as heinous as this, it is polarized to the point of, I can't believe they're at it again. Do not place us all in the same box, because we don't all belong in the same box. Don't place us all in the same category, because we don't all belong in that same box. Just because I look like somebody, do I sound like somebody? Am I not um, allowed to have the same as you? If there's truly to be a new world order, which order will we come in? Will we come in last? Come in first? Come in the middle? Will we win place or show? Doesn't matter. Because if other people are controlling us, it is in all of our best interest to find out, manipulate, and control them. I continue to talk to stupid people, dumb people, and ignorant people. Why? Because I'm one of them. My mind isn't completely open. I'm not free. We are all individuals here. And that's where we go wrong. We were taught as kids there's safety in numbers. And we're also taught as children you divide to conquer. But we're looking at a global situation. This is bigger than me, you, United States of America. This is the whole entire world. So if I'm going to vote on a president for the planet Earth, probably wouldn't have been Barack Obama, not Kofi Annan, not Lord Rothschild, and none of those American people and none of those English people. The moral of the story, this story I tell, is a human story. Whatever world order we're in, there's a basic human respect that we need to have. Bigger than any constitution on the planet. We're human beings. And we deserve the right to continue life without any hampering, tampering by our government, our system, or our Federal Reserve Bank. I said it, Federal Reserve Bank, shoot me some money and I'll shut up, I will, you give me enough money, you can make me look stupid in 48 hours after I get it, more little story is this, there's a basic human respect that we all need before you push forth on your new world order you find any knowledge in this pass it on